Hi, this is Max here again today. I want to show you my growing area where I start my seeds before I plant them outside in the high tunnels. And even as it gets later on in the in the planting season, I even start some of the seeds in here during the spring and then plant them outside, transplant them in the outside garden um, where I don't direct sow seeds. So let me show you what I do here. Okay, I'm walking in. This is a room that I had set up in our house where we um, start our seeds. Originally this was going to be turned into a, a room with a hot tub and a spa along this rock wall here. It's going to make a waterfall and have just kind of a little what we would call a little sunroom but I haven't done that yet. It kind of got taken over starting seeds in here. So let me show you some of the stuff I started. I have a planning schedule where I start to plant stuff right after the first of the new year and some of the first things that I plant are onions and leeks. Now these are onions. These onions were actually planted in in February, so they're only about a month old at this time. But onions I'll plant right after the first year. Over here there's there's some leeks that I planted. These leeks were about a month or so ago. I planted these leeks also. The chives. I plant these in January also and try to get these to grow as, as big as I can. These I, these I could start cutting any time. As soon as these char chives, chives are the hair bringer of, of spring. They'll start growing immediately. And you get these nice little chives like this. They're, they're clean. I don't have a lot of dead chives in there. They aren't dirty. You can come out here if you want some on your, any type of food you have and just cut these off and they'll keep growing back. These eventually, will be transplanted outside too. I just haven't got to transplanting them outside at this time. Another plant that I plant early on is parsley. These are big leaf Italian parsley. I do have a lot of volunteers that grow out in the garden, but when I want to try a new um, cultivar, I, I plant those right after the year also. These, this, is celery. This is another plant that I plant right after the first of the year trying to get these celery plants as big as I can before I transplant them outside. Now there are other plants depending on what you grow that you may need to plant early also. This this is red vein swirl. I, this is a, a wonderful addition to any salad. It has a lemony taste. Um, these are over a month old so I, I try to get these planted in January just as soon as I can because I'm trying to have things transplanted out in the high tunnel the first of March. You know this is just some more celery. I planted a couple of different um, dates of planting. This here in the back you can see is a little bit bigger. This here in the front is, is a little bit smaller. So in January I'm typically planting things like onions, leeks, celery, parsley, celerac, things that are going to take quite a while in order to grow. The next plants I try to grow about the middle of January on there is the middle of January towards the end of January are the tomatoes. Now these, I said most of these I'd have already planted out in the high tunnel. So they're starting to get pretty big. These were meant to go out in the high tunnel. It's been cold. I've had to buy more um, whales of water in order to keep these plants, um, in order to keep the tomatoes alive. But, but these are just some of the tomato plants. When I, when I start planting the tomatoes, I plant them in these little containers like this, these little six cell containers. And once they get big enough, like these are big enough right now on here, I'll have to take these out later on today and transplant these. These are about six inches high. Them, and then I'll plant them in containers like this. These are six inch diameter containers about six inches high. If the plants get really tall then I'll use a little bit thicker, a little bit deeper container like this on here. This is, this this container is probably about eight inches deep so it's a few inches deeper than the pot that I showed you here. And once again I plant that root all the way to the bottom of the container and then I cover all that up. And, and the way this helps me, remember in a I told you these tomatoes are going to grow roots all from the cell, from the, from the stem down. So by the time I plant this outside, I will have roots coming out the side of the tomatoes and I'll have a good root ball there to plant to help the growth of the tomato. 
I also start to plant pepper plants. Now these pepper plants have, are a little bit grown too big and gotten close to the lights. I had to take them off because they were burned. But I typically keep these pepper plants, something like this, up under a light up here and, and grow several different types of pepper plants. The number of tomatoes we grow are, are close to around 54 or so, around 50 different types of tomatoes, cultivars. And the same with the peppers. We grow probably about another 50 or so different types of peppers in here. So anywhere from sweet peppers to hot peppers to what I call frying peppers or specialty peppers. February, I'll start to plant things like broccoli. This is, you're looking at some broccoli plants here. So I start to part, part, plant broccoli. I start to plant cabbage and I start to plant um, Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. That's what those plants, these plants are. Now these grow really quick. There's, there's, and I'm, and again, I haven't been able to plant these outside, so I can't, so they're kind of overcrowded this area now, so I've got to get them outside as quickly as I can. Also around the first of, middle of February or so, first of February, I'll, I'll plant, um, this is Chinese cabbage, and there's some kale here. Now I've already planted most of my kale outside in the garden. The kale can handle closed, um, cold weather pretty good, but I, this is just some more of some different cultivars that I was trying to grow of kale. This, I think kale, we grow close to around 10 different types. Now this is, this is basil on here. This is a, a Genesee basil variety. This, this one has done very well for me. I'll, um, I'll show you how I break these down. Sometimes basil, basil has a real small seed, and so it's, sometimes it's easier just to sprinkle some on, and then I can, I can kind of, I'll show you how I separate these plants out in another video and transplant them so I can get them ready to transplant outdoors. Now, lettuce is, it's a little bit more susceptible to the cold. If, if it was, if it, if it was already out there and it got cold, it'd probably do okay, but but these, uh, hopefully within a few days, I can transplant these outside. These also have gotten fairly large on here. I don't like to have them this large. I usually, if I'm transplanting lettuce, I don't like it to have more than five leaves on it when I transplant it outside in the garden. And this here is just some more different types of lettuce. So um, I don't know why, but in our area, you know, certain lettuce does, does well and others don't. So I try to choose lots of different varieties of lettuce. I, probably have around 70 or so different varieties of lettuce, different cultivars, and, and I see which ones taste better and which ones grow good in our area. This is something that I could have planted either outside doing a direct sow or done it inside. This is spinach. On this spinach, I tried to do this inside. I, I have spinach seed that's about seven years old, so I was trying to keep track here of this seven-year-old spinach seed of, of, of kind of the population percentage that germinates. So you can see that, that you can see kind of, as I look at some of these different trays here, you can see how some of it germinates better than others. And, and a lot of your seeds are gonna have expiration dates on it. Spinach, you know, to be here for seven years is kind of old for a spinach seed. Lastly here, I'll just show you some of the cuttings that I try to take. Um, not all my cuttings are successful, so I take quite a few of them, but this is, this is oregano cuttings. So, so I take cuttings off of my plants um, and start to winter them over here inside, try to get them germinated so I have some fresh starts there in the, in the spring, some nice fresh plants. This is just some geranium, some flowers I like to keep going. It's kind of a game to see how many years you can keep a geranium plant propagating it from year to year just by cutting a little bit off. While I'm here, I'll give you a bonus. That back there I'm pretty proud of is my fig. This is a turkey fig. It's, um, it, you know, I'm, I'm up here in Idaho with about two feet of snow right now, so this is pretty amazing that I can grow these figs even though it's indoors. I'll, it, it wants to pop out and start growing leaves in this room and when it gets warm enough so it's say it doesn't get below 45 degrees at night I'll put that outside and let it live outside it'll become a great big vine produce figs and then as, as winter comes on I'll take that bring that back inside and prune it back again.
These are just some rosemary plants. I, I really like the rosemary. It, if, if you haven't cooked with rosemary, I'd suggest you try cooking with that. It is just a very flavorful herb that you can use with anything. Thyme. This, this thyme is, this is another plant I really like. I mean, you smell it um, fresh like this, and it is, it is just nothing like what you're buying in the store that's, that's powdered and dry. This fresh thyme is amazing if you can get your hands on some of this. So, again, this is real easy to grow. I just, when I'm trying to grow this, literally, you just, you just come in here and you pinch off uh, just a little shoot. You know, this shoot's not very big. Try to pick off a shoot that's that's bigger, three to four inches. But you pick off that shoot, you put it in water, and it'll just almost immediately start sprouting roots, and you'll have fresh thyme, and you can just keep growing it year after year after year on the same plant. Okay, thank you again for watching. Um, you can see this area here. If you have any questions, comments, write them below in the comment. I'll try to answer them as best you can, and thank you for watching my channel.